Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Today is a special day because this doesn't happen very often, but a solar eclipse is going to happen at about 3 o'clock today. Uh, I'm unfortunately not in the total totality of the like the path of the solar eclipse. It's going to be about 70% here, but it's still going to be amazing. So I got my GoPro out. I need to go ahead and charge it and make sure I have enough space and everything, get everything all ready so I can record it with this camera and with this camera and maybe even my iPad. So I'm gonna get all that stuff ready and get it all charged up. Just saw on Instagram that the solar eclipse starts at 1:58 and ends at like 4:15. I'll put the graphic up right here. And uh, I went ahead and looked out and put the brightness all the way down so I could see. Can't quite see anything yet. I got some leaves in the way, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the GoPro. Uh, I don't know where I want to point it yet. I don't know if I want to point it at the ground because there are some cool shadows when a uh, partial eclipse shows or just an eclipse in general. And like right here, I I think if I set it up and looked at, looked at those shadows, I think that'd be pretty cool. I think it would show the crescent shadows. And then I'm not sure where I want to put my iPad and then I'm not sure where I want to put this one. So I got to think through it for a couple of minutes and we'll see where I put them. Okay, I have already set up the iPad to get a time lapse. I set the exposure all the way down so you could see. Here it is right here, pointing up at here go, pointing up at the sun. Oh man, it looks pretty cool. It's it's already happening. It's uh, I don't know what percentage. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say like 10, 15%. So now I'm going to go up on the roof and I'm going to put the GoPro out just looking at the landscape so you can see it get dark it's gonna be awesome all right i'm up here on the roof got my gopro all set up in that direction so we can see the how it gets dark over time it's it's actually already gotten a little lighter darker i mean <laughs> uh so i'm excited to see i can't obviously i don't have the glasses i had them back in 2014 when it was a total solar eclipse i went down to south carolina and saw it with my aunt but uh i don't know where those glasses are now i knew exactly where they were when i, when I was when i was in my old house but no idea now so there's the sun i know it looks like a big blob of brightness but here i'll uh i'll get i'll get it right now It still looks like a big blob. It's just a circle right now. I thought it had started on the iPad, but I guess not. Come on, we'll see. Already have some of the neighbors camping out. We watched the total so or not the partial solar eclipse. Let's see, it is two thirty-five. So we got about thirty minutes until it really starts to get crazy. So I'm gonna go have a popsicle. Okay, it's about three o'clock, and I can't tell if it's just because I. No, it's supposed to get darker, but it feels like it's getting darker. So I'm not sure if it's really getting darker, but <laughs> uh, we'll go with it is getting darker just because it feels like it. Uh, I think it's about it's about 15 minutes until it reaches its totality for this region, which is Raleigh, North Carolina, about 70%. And I'm going to go ahead and check to see if the old... The old iPad is still going. It is. I, I can't tell on the iPad that the the moon has started to move in front of the sun. So we'll give it uh, 15 more minutes. Alright, 
it happened. Uh, I didn't see it exactly like I thought I was gonna see it. So that little time lapse, um, you could see the full sun and it was it was a big circle, but I, I think I circled it. You could see, it was like in the lens reflection. You could see what was actually happening. What, what I thought I was going to see in the time lapse. So I didn't get to like see it, but I saw it in that little dot. And unfortunately, I I repositioned it, so I didn't get like the full thing. It stopped, and uh, I repositioned it and didn't have that little glare anymore. So that's a bummer, but I got a lot of it. So at the beginning of all those clips, I had originally said, I think it's getting darker. Um, and I said, I think it started as well. And when I set up my iPad, I was looking at what I thought was correct, okay? It was that, that little glare that showed the full circle getting, you know, covered by the, by the moon. And uh, so then when I looked back at it and I readjusted it, I was like, okay, there's the sun. That's what I wanted to look at. And then after all that, I co come to find out I had, I was looking at the correct thing all along. So it had started. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not crazy. I knew it was getting darker. <laughs> it felt like it anyways. It wasn't just my mind. So Clear, cleared that up. I feel better. <laughs> uh, so heading off the basketball right now, we've got a comp game at 6.30. And then uh, we rescheduled the volleyball game to Wednesday so we could have six people. And then if we win our 6.30 comp game, basketball game, uh, we'll have to play again at 8.30. And I think that's doable. And I am nervous. And I really hate to put it on record because I still don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I want to live stream the basketball game. I'm nervous about it. Uh, I charged my battery up to 91%. So hopefully I'll have enough juice to get me all the way through the game. And, uh, y'all will have already seen that. And I do believe the live streams go on the page afterwards anyway, so you can still watch them. So feel free to watch that if I have done it. Oh, nervous. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're gonna head off to basketball. It's about 4.45, 4.50. I don't really have a clock because I'm using my clock right now. <laughs> um, Joe and Jalen are already there. They watched the, the eclipse as well. So let's get to it, let's head off. Well, let's continue to head off. Let's, let's go, let's go. 30 minute window between now and five o'clock and I really hope I don't get a ticket, but we'll see. We're gonna take the chance. Heading, headed into basketball now. Gonna get a little warm up going before our big game at 6.30. Alright guys, well, we I just did two lives uh, in the championship. So we have one game for like John. This is Jim uh, Colson. Uh, the guys you used to play for, you and Ryan used to play for. We right? just won both oh, of our games, yeah. so uh, 6.30 and 8.30. Like uh, and now we're moving on to the semifinals. So uh, y'all can go back and watch the lives. There's Ethan. Uh, a couple big shots down the lane. Yeah. Alright, that's all she wrote. It's about 9.30. Oh yeah, the, uh, the national championship is going on right now, isn't it? Alright guys, I'll see you at home. Alright, welcome back to the car. And I really hope we'll see if I have a ticket or not. It was only 30 minutes till 5, but you never know. Those guys are ruthless. The ticket getters, or the ticket people. They're, ah, they have no heart. All right, we'll see. All right, there she is. Let's see if I got lucky. Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No ticket, no ticket, no ticket. Ugh, every, I mean, they never fail. 
All right, looking at the ticket, uh, sixty dollars. That's at four forty-one. I know y'all can't see me, but so literally nineteen minutes left until free parking. That is just so annoying. I mean, to be one of those ticket people, you have to have no heart. All right, I'll I'll uh, I'll appeal it. Maybe they'll knock it down a little bit. But sixty dollars for nineteen minutes, please. I I park. I was parked for eleven minutes. Okay, dokes, let's head home. All right, back at home. I appealed the ticket, and I was very polite and respectful, even though I really didn't want to be because I was frustrated. I do believe I I almost said well i w would have said the joke if i had thought about it when i was writing it but you know i was thinking about it on the way home just irritated and i i would have said is there not something that i can do like uh i buy a hundred hours get 30 minutes free or like get a warning <laughs> that'd have been funny you know showing that i have paid for a hundred hours and you can't let 30 minutes slide just very very frustrating like 60 dollars for 19 minutes like i just i cannot imagine being a ticket person and just being like yep this guy's got 19 minutes left till five let's ruin his day let's give him a 60 dollar ticket 19 minutes yep yep just frustrates me to no end especially since i i don't even know why parking on campus is not free for all those kids who pay thousands and thousands of dollars including me when i went there but anyways just gotta get over it i i did the appeal hopefully they will either waive it give me a warning or reduce the bill or reduce the $60 ticket, maybe like $30. A warning would scare me just as much, okay? Okay, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I gotta go eat. Uh, Grandpa brought some Popeyes home. Yeah, Pot Pies, not Popeyes, <laughs> uh, from KFC. And I guess I'll watch the end of the UConn game. UConn is right now winning like 57 to 30. No, 51 to 38, I think. Those darn ticket people. Just finished taking a shower. It is 145, and I will not be working out tomorrow. Because I that means I would have to wake up in 3 hours and 15 minutes, which is a long nap. So I'm actually going to get some sleep tomorrow. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow.